Are you hungry? I hope you're hungry because I'm gonna whip together some summertime staples. I don't know you guys. Okay, we're having an impromptu uh, little barbecue over here and you guys know me, I, I'm checking on my Facebook poll because I just asked, should I film a video? And it's 99% yes so far, so I guess here we are. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta gauge the interest. Okay, so impromptu barbecue. I always go overboard. At first I was texting and I was like, oh, I'll make a dessert and like maybe a side dish. And then 30 minutes later I had a whole catering size menu. Why am I the way that I am? I don't know. I'd rather have too much food than not enough. So I have some of like the tried and true recipes that I love, that my family loves, that are just delicious and they taste good. So these aren't new recipes. I typically try to share new recipes with you. I gotta get cooking because time is a ticking. What? Let's go. Yes, good thing I cleaned my house yesterday for the most part. I did pull out some crock pots. I'm starting to pile up like the different ingredients I need for different recipes. I did have to run to the store to grab a couple of things that I didn't have. First thing I'm going to make. Actually, I haven't a clue the first thing that I'm going to make. Um, Eleanor will probably come in and help me with the desserts at some point. On the menu, strawberry shortcake bars with strawberries and blueberries. Oh my gosh, I haven't had these in two years. I've been dreaming about them ever since. Oreo balls, another easy dessert. Oh, it's so good. Italian chopped salad, one of my favorites. Why don't I make it more often? I don't know. Cracked corn in the crock pot, baked beans in the crock pot, but they're jacked up baked beans. Jacked up, uh, southern style green beans. You guys, I can't even with this menu. And then a bubble machine and ices, which has nothing to do with food. Uh, let me throw the crock pot stuff together. Oh wait, should I do the cookie bars first? Cause they have to cook. Everyone's gonna come in the house in like 2.4 seconds, so it's gonna get loud. Ah, uh, onions. I need some onions. Well, that's one thing I can take care of right away. Are these still good? I don't know, you guys. I used to store them in my fridge. I'll grab a couple of onions. What do I need onions for? Green beans and baked beans. I'm just gonna start chopping some stuff up to make me feel like I'm doing something productive. I'll get the two crock pot things going and then we'll work on whatever I feel like doing next. But for the baked beans, you're going to need some onions. One small onion, I might just do half of this large. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna have to peel a lot away because some of it is looking real sad. Is that mold? Am I going to die today? Yeah, I'm gonna cut up this whole onion. It's like I haven't even met myself, you know? Time to get jacked up. I want some fireworks for later today, but honestly, I feel like the mosquitoes are just gonna like take us away if we go outside past sundown. All right, we're going to need some bacon for the baked beans. You can use like the pre-cooked crumbled bacon from Costco. I haven't bought that in such a long time. Also, I feel like, uh, well, two things. I should have got a new cutting board. And also, I forgot the second thing. Oh, there's so much more flavor in bacon when you cook it and like render your own fat. Mm. Oh, I should have made collard greens too. Oh, those are so good. You know, you can't do it all. Although I will say, when I was looking up these recipes, I found a recipe that I really wanna make for dinner, probably tomorrow night, I guess. And then I second thought, I thought, well, maybe I could also make it as a side dish. It's like Frito pie or something. It sounds weird, but. It looks really good. Okay, I'm just gonna cook this up. Let's bring this part into the spoon. Okay, so I just took this meat out to thaw earlier today. Let's say it's a pound, but we all know it's more than that. That's ground beef, and then I'm going to add the bacon. We'll just cook it all together. And the onion. Still a little icy in the middle here. That's okay, we'll get it going. There's all kinds of contamination happening. Oh my gosh, just this alone. Mmm, raw meat never looks so good. Oh, well that cooks, I don't wanna waste my time. I'm gonna get the rest of the ingredients thrown in the crock pot. I love crock pot recipes. You can throw it together in the morning if you have your life together and then you don't really have to think about it. It's like done, you can enjoy your time. 
So I have one can of white beans, great northern beans. Oh my gosh, it just spit on me. Whatever, everyone knows I'm a mess. And then I have three cans of baked beans. These are the 16 ounce, 16 and a half ounce cans. I, this is just what I had in my pantry. You can use the bigger ones if you have that. Use four cans, use two cans. I don't care. And then a can of black beans that I drained. This meat seriously smells so good. Okay. And to make it sweet, we're gonna add some brown sugar. I don't know, a handful. That should do it. Maybe a little pinch. That's what keeps the kids coming back for more. Secret ingredient, a little bit of mustard. Maybe a little bit more. Clearly I don't have measurements. A little bit of ketchup. A little bit more ketchup than mustard. And honestly, this would be delicious. Do I have a spoon? It would probably be good just to serve it like this. That's always like a kicked up way to serve baked beans. But it's going to be even more delicious with all this extra meat. Yeah. Don't drain that bacon grease, okay? That's called flavor. And then keep this in the crock pot. It's gonna be great. Mmm. Like this looks like dinner. <laughs> I could eat this with some rice, maybe some uh, Frito chips. Okay, moving on. Okay, I'm gonna start on the cracked corn. And I think the recipe calls for three cups, but I'm gonna use three cans. And I'm even debating using a fourth can. But we'll start with this and see how far that gets us. You can use frozen corn too, if that's what you wanna do. So the corn goes into the crock pot. Yeah, that's plenty of corn. So to this, I'm going to add just a few pats of butter. I don't know, three, four tablespoons, whatever your heart desires. I will tell you. Careful, it's hot. Awesome. I think the recipe calls for two tablespoons, but I like to go above and beyond. And then a couple tablespoons of this ranch seasoning. I will make Give or take a couple, okay? okay? And then half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I have this fancy kind because I, I, I went to Target and they only sell the fancy stuff there. So this is five ounces. I'm just gonna, should I add it all? Like what else am I gonna do with it? Maybe top it? Okay. Okay, and then give this a mix and then let this cook and bubble and oh my gosh, so simple. But it is extremely delicious. Everyone's going to be asking you for the recipe. Sugar, flour, I think I have everything. Baking soda, salt, eggs, butter. Is that it? Oh, I feel like I read this recipe seven times. Oh, vanilla. Okay, this recipe, it's like a shortcake bar, kind of. Oh man, it's so delicious. Oh, my hair is falling out because my hair clip just broke. I'm going to need the kitchen aid for this one. But you can use your hands if you're strong. Okay, so any way you want to mix it to fluff it up, you need one cup of butter. It's two sticks. Get it all in there. And two cups of sugar. Oh yes, now I remember this recipe. Like how could it be bad? Two, two cups of sugar. Yes please. Did I read that correctly? My phone turns off every two seconds. Okay, whip this until it's nice and light and fluffy. Well, you know what? That's more of a crumble than a fluff, but it's been a few minutes and I'm impatient. So here we are. Then you add four eggs and then a couple squirts of vanilla and mix that up. Oh yeah. All right, now that is looking like something that I would eat with a spoon when I was in high school. To this, we're going to add Five cups of flour. It's a pretty dry dough. And then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. That's exact measurements here. And a little bit of salt for flavor. There we go. And you know, you can mix that in a separate bowl, sift it together, but I'm a professional over here, so <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we roll. Great, just until combine. Yeah, a little bit for you, salmonella. I stink and dare you, okay? Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Okay, now you're supposed to grab like a certain size sheet pan. I, don't, I just grabbed the largest one that I have. This is 15 by 21. Grab the skin of the butter, 
because this has just some residual butter left over on it, or you can spray it to grease it. Okay, and then just dump the uh, shortcake mixture. Oh my gosh, this really is. I mean, oh no. Julia Child. Julia Child never made anything this delicious. <laughs> Julia Child, who? Okay, now this I remember being a tedious process, but you just take it. Well, what if I like crumble it apart over here? Spread it out. You just pat it down, cover the entire surface area. You might think, oh, this isn't gonna fit. It'll fit. Just keep going. It might not fit if you eat too much of the dough, though. Oh my gosh, what year is it? This is probably why I haven't made it in, uh, what, it's been almost two years. But it's done. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this into the oven, 375. Lord knows how long. I wanna eat it. 10 to 15 minutes, and then you let it cool for 30, and then we top it with some stuff. Just, it's coming up. Okay, next I'm gonna get started on the Southern Style Green Beans. These take about 20-ish at least. At, well, it depends on if you have canned green beans or fresh green beans. Everything tastes better with fresh, but I bought an, a copious amount of canned green beans for some reason. I don't even remember. Oh, Easter, so I was trying to make it easy on myself. So anyway, I'm trying to use those up. It, but this recipe, again, super simple, no skill involved at all. We're already two and a half recipes in, halfway to eating, and that's my favorite part. You know, Rachel Ray would never have an onion that looks like this. And that's why I don't have my own cooking show. It's not the only reason. Okay, so the ratios we're talking about. Uh, three cans of green beans. I think you drained them. I'm just going off of my memory of how I make these. And isn't that what always makes a good like family recipe? The ones that you just know. I am going to do a full onion, the rest of this bacon, which is probably too much, but can you really have too much bacon? The answer is no. And then you need some chicken stock and that's it. And then like salt and pepper, garlic, if you want to add that, but you don't have to. Okay. You know, I saw this thing on Amazon. It's like a garbage bowl, but it's not on your counter. You like put it on a, like between a drawer or a cabinet or something, and then you just scoop it in there, but I just don't think it's big enough. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking of big, I need a big pot. Okay, I feel like I got a, I've got a few recipes going, so now I can calm down a little bit. Uh, bacon and onions, go right in, just cook them together. Oh my gosh, oh boy, hold on now. Got to stir the bacon. I forgot to set a timer for these. My sink is running. I'm trying to thaw out some sausage. Ooh, perfection does exist. It smells great. It looks great. Where are we gonna put this to cool? All the kids are gonna try to touch it with their hands. Anyway, I was over here just dreaming about burritos, thinking this would probably be really good with the baked beans, so I'm gonna give it a try. Don't look at my hair. Baked beans and a Frito. You know what? It's really good. I would probably, I think they're better with chili though. All right, what are they making? Oh, the green beans, okay. So the bacon is looking great. Onions are looking spectacular. I drained the green beans, just add those right in. And you know, I'm not sure if you're supposed to drain them, but that's what I did. Then I add in chicken stock. So at least four cups, which is one whole carton or two cans. I might have to add a little more. I just want the green bean, well, no, that's good. And then the chicken stock, even though it has less sodium in it. Where's my garlic? Found it. Anyway, it's still really salty. So I just add a bunch of pepper. I don't, I don't know, a bunch to your liking, to your taste. And then a little bit of garlic in here. Can't hurt. Is that garlic? Oh, thank goodness. And then give this a mix and just let it sit for, I don't know, 20 minutes. Bring it up to a bubble and then simmer it down. I go, I go, I say. Talking about hey now, hey now. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, recording that whole time. I was just informed that we're leaving in 20 minutes. 
15. So we're leaving somewhere, hanging out for a couple hours and coming back and hosting. So I am going to whip up this um, Italian chopped salad. You have to cook up some pasta. So my water is taking about 17 years to boil on the stove top. So that's fun for me. And then I have this summer sausage. This is eight ounces and I'm just gonna cube this up. I also have olives, artichoke hearts, chickpeas, green onions, and I think the recipe calls for tomatoes and, oh, mozzarella cheese. I don't add that. I think it tastes fine without it. I've added it before, but I prefer it without. So I chopped up the summer sausage, and I'm going to drain this jar of olives. I should have bought two jars because I've already eaten a ton of these. I love olives. I always forget how much I love olives. It's technically a fruit, right? Uh, these are small, so should I cut these in half? I don't think I'm gonna cut those in half. Oh, oh, just for time's sake. I could not find marinated artichoke hearts at my Target because they suck. So I'm gonna drain these and the chickpeas. I stuck all this stuff in my fridge when I got home so it could do its best to stay cold. And I'm just gonna cut up the artichoke hearts into smaller pieces. It really adds so much flavor if you get them marinated. But the dressing we're gonna add to this has a lot of flavor too, so I think it'll be okay. Oh, and then I forgot some green onions too. I love green onions. I think these add so much flavor and freshness. And I always eat this on a bed of romaine lettuce. Oh, and I will link the recipe because I definitely don't follow any of the measurements. As if that's a surprise. So here it is, aside from the pasta that we're going to add, and then I'm gonna whip up the dressing. And my water, I don't, I don't know why it's not boiling. Okay, I'm gonna throw the dressing together. We need one tablespoon of Dijon. I always add a little more because I always add a little more of the ingredients. Two tablespoons of honey, looks good. Two cloves of minced garlic or some powdered stuff. A little bit of salt and pepper. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning or more. I'm gonna give this a whisk and then add half a cup of red wine vinegar and half a cup of olive oil. And that's the whole dressing. Smells like Subway, it's delicious. Well, now that I got the water to boil, it won't calm down. I'm going to start on the topping for the strawberry shortcake. I should probably maybe get my hand mixer out. Okay, another bowl, I need a bowl. Oh my gosh, another one though, really? I'm gonna whip together, whip together? Oh, I do need my hand mixer. I just don't wanna wash my hand mixer. Eight ounces of la creme, couple squirts of vanilla in there, and I think a cup of powdered sugar. I don't know, I'm so sick of my phone turning off. I know I can change the uh, settings or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that. Maybe a little more powdered sugar because I don't think that would have a full cup. Forget my hand mixer. I'm just gonna do this by hand. I have to wait for the pasta to boil anyway. I can't leave until then. Spatula's already dirty. Also, if you don't like a cream cheese frosting, don't let this deter you from making it because I don't like cream cheese frosting. But this doesn't taste like it. It's good. From what I remember anyway. You know, it's been a couple years. Okay, maybe not as fluffy, but it is combined. And then I'm gonna add some of this whipped topping, eight ounces of it exactly. And this stuff always tastes like dreams. Oh, yes. It's made with love, okay? Get off my back about it. Just plop this in. This is what makes this taste. You know what? You could just top it with this and people would be happy, you know? I feel like, did I do that last time? I don't think so, but. Probably easier. Fold this in because we do want the lift of it. Actually, who gives a crap? Just mix it. All right, I think we're good here. Okay, okay. Oh crap, hold on, is my pasta done? Yep. to perfection. I know it's like a cardinal rule not to rinse your pasta, 
It's probably a rule not to rinse your pasta in like a dirty sink. It's not touching anything. It's fine. <laughs> that stuff is rinsed. Is it? Yeah, sure. But I don't have time to wait. Ow, man, the pot is hot. I just, you gotta get it cold. If you have the time and your life is prepared and in order, you can stick this in the fridge overnight or whatever. But no, thank you. All right, now I'm gonna ruin the Pinterest worthiness of this and just dump. It's one cup of cooked pasta. I, you know, I always do a little more than what the recipe calls for and then just dump the, um, the dressing over top and just give it a nice mix. Get everything coated in that and then stick it in your fridge and let the flavors meld together and get nice and chilled. And you're supposed to add like three cups of romaine to this, but I find, especially if you're not eating it all in one go, that the romaine lettuce welts so i just serve lettuce next to it and it is absolutely delicious mm -hmm. yep drip drop drip drop on the clock i'ma make your people so okay wow jordan i just threw the uh strainer to the sink and completely missed so top this with this and then we're gonna cut up some strawberries and it's gonna be delish and this is gonna be a pretty thin layer too because, you know, I used the wrong size pan, but it's fine. Did I use two containers of whipped cream before? Hmm, wow, yeah, this doesn't seem like enough, but somehow, I think it will be, because it must. Huh, perfection, look at that. Actually, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I would say it's good enough. All right, cool, taste test. Yeah, cream cheese to what? I'm actually gonna let this sit and cool in the fridge until we get home, and then I'll top it with strawberries. Mmm, you want those berries? Here you go. Rinse them, we're home. Now, I'm gonna cut these strawberries up and the kids have the, a good time, great time. The pool, we miss our pool, kind of. that beautiful song it's called homesick by loving caliber and this is ryan seacrest nice to meet you i'm throwing together like a hamburger board kind of thing it's just like the toppings that you throw on burgers i always like to throw them on a piece of wood makes it a little bit fancier and the shortcake was done doesn't look fancy those are um jalapenos in that one jar if you're wondering now it's time for the oreo balls wait oh gosh Remember when the Oreo package didn't open like this? And how much more difficult life was back then? <laughs> I'll probably elicit the help of Eleanor if you want. What? To roll some Oreo balls. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, nasty! <laughs> Leaves plenty for us to munch on, right? Uh. Okay, don't know what happened to this. Camera it must have fallen. Now you just add, oh crap, how much cream cheese do you add? I don't think it's a whole stick. It might be though. I'm gonna add three quarters of a stick. All right, we'll see how that works. In a bowl. 
Okay, it's softened cream cheese, by the way, and it should come out like a nice... Doughy. Yeah, a nice texture where it all clumps together, and I'm going to have Eleanor. We could we could make some more with these, but I don't know if we're going to. Just this on its own is delicious. No, no, you need a teeny tiny one. Go get another scooper. A teeny tiny one? I just throw it on the counter because I'm a mess and I don't care, but just roll these into balls. I use a little scooper. Even that, that's the smallest one. Okay, Eleanor's gonna roll these into balls. Talk to me, baby. Man, these Oreo balls, I'm not even kidding you. They're so dang good. Makes me want to make another batch of them right now. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't, but whatever. Alex is out here grilling, so I just got a clip of that. He's the grill master. He actually just cleaned up the grill, so it looks super clean. He said we should celebrate Woo! with uh, grilling tonight. And I said, well, I have a curry dish, so I don't know about that, but we can try. Anyway, um... I d remembered that I had mushrooms in my fridge that we needed to eat, and I love mushrooms on the grill. So I was just cleaning them up and chopping them up so we could eat through them. Oh, man. Something about cooking on the grill, it just gives it so much more flavor. I, maybe not more flavor, but like a different flavor, you know? Something I really enjoy. I hated mushrooms until I was pregnant. I didn't like them any other pregnancy. Same thing with ketchup. Only like it when I'm pregnant. Hate it every other time. Well, in my first trimester, can't even stand the smell of ketchup. No, thank you. Get that crap away from me. Same with Parmesan cheese. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> um, okay, so that's all chopped and done. Looking good. I clean it with a damp rag because that's how Rachel Ray taught me how to do it. Okay, I'm setting up all the food while Alex finishes up outside. <laughs> Figured you need to see this. This, oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It's just so simple. No skill involved at all. The cheese didn't really melt. I feel like, like it typically does, but the flavor is supreme. And then the baked beaners. How can you make baked beans look good? I don't know, but they taste good. <laughs> this is the rest of the food, this pasta salad. Oh my God, it reigns supreme. It's one of my all-time favorites. I always eat it with a bunch of lettuce and it just makes me feel like I'm eating something healthier because I am. And that is the whole spread that we had. Bunch of meats, bunch of deliciousness. Oh my, everyone's outside. We're enjoying fireworks, which is fantastic. If I didn't already show you some of the show, you are in for a treat, my friends. <laughs> uh, this is our second treat of the night. I didn't finish the Oreo balls, uh, just enjoying time, you know? But we have this dessert and it's gonna be, oh, so good. It's one of my favorites. It has been like four days since I filmed. Extra kids are still here and they're all chomping at the bit to get some Oreo balls. I even think some people snuck some and by some people I mean I definitely did and there are a few others missing so I'll show you how to finish them up it's super simple and they are so delicious and uh, satisfying I don't they'll satisfy your sweet tooth for sure okay so this is what we're working with this is <laughs> what's left definitely a few missing I don't think there's too many missing but it'll be good enough as just like a little treat so um double the recipe or triple it oh my gosh you're going to want to because they're so dang good and you don't even have to do this last step like they're good as is but this just 
takes them to the next level and kind of makes them feel like a truffle. I'm just taking just chocolate chips and I'm gonna melt these in the microwave. You can use a double boiler, but I just mix it every 30 seconds. Okay, it just took a couple minutes. It's all melted. Couple mi Don't do it all at once. You'll burn your chocolate. It's really easy to burn chocolate in the microwave. Just 30 seconds at a time. And even this, oh, yep, oh, there's a good little ribbon there. Okay, looks good. I'm just going to take a ball, throw it in, dip it, and then you can take it out. And I like to tap off the excess and then throw it right back on here. You can use parchment paper, but I just, I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna do that with all of them. Here they are. Are they gourmet? Yes. <laughs> they taste gourmet anyway. If you tasted one of these, you would say the same thing. Oh my gosh, can I have that dang recipe? And I'd be like, heck yeah, so simple, no skill involved at all. These are a crowd pleaser for sure. And if you wanna elevate them and make them festive, you can put sprinkles on top of them. I don't do that. I don't like sprinkles. I think they're perfect just the way that they are. Just like you. Oh my gosh, hilarious. I thought I would share with you <laughs> the firework display we had. Honestly, it was the best firework display we've ever had. Um, a few family members, we get together every 4th of July and we do this. So it's been several years that we've gotten together. M many, many, many years. And <laughs> we looked at each other and we were like, this is the best display ever. <laughs> That's the best one. We don't get the mortars, okay? I've seen crazy things with my own two eyes of mortars misfiring so that is a big new no new -no for us but we do enjoy doing things like this and um yeah it was a great display and if you've seen that meme on instagram it's like no one is going to watch your videos of fireworks so don't even take them but i took some for you anyway because i did get messages like we couldn't set off fireworks they're illegal in our state or we don't you know we don't even live in florida you know you know what i mean or not florida but the united states so i figured i'd add a few clips in here so you can enjoy the show with us i did get um some clips of like the big ones going off i'll i'll show you i'll i'll explain more in just a second but the finale is coming up. And if you can see, I also added like some of the pictures that I took, hilarious. Obviously they look way better in real life and I didn't take video of the whole thing, but I just took a few clips for you. So I hope you enjoy them. And here comes the finale. Hold on to your seats, okay? <laughs> also, does anyone know how to get burned off of asphalt asking for a friend?
Isn't that amazing? So we heard a bunch of other fireworks going off as we were doing our display. So we came to the backyard, which... Um, I thought would be covered in mosquitoes, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. I also feel like I'm going to get questions about the yellow car in our front yard. That's Alex's. He's had it for several years. It's like a 1940 Kaiser. I don't know. That's his thing. Okay. Ask him. <laughs> but that is it. Thank you guys so much for cooking with me and spending some time with me. If you're still here and you're new and you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.